Now, the boys, what's going on? This is Yoki here, and welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 23 Tottenham Hotspur career mode. And I don't want to talk too much at the start of this episode. We're going to chuck out a big thank you to you guys for all the support on the series so far. This one is banging so far this season, and I appreciate you all. Now, the league does not look too pretty, but there is still a chance that Tottenham Hotspur can get Champions League football. That's what this episode is all about. We are a point behind Liverpool, but they do have a game in hand. Five points behind Aston Villa. We play them so we can make that be two points. But it's going to be a bit of a sticky one. We do have better goal difference than Aston Villa. We play Newcastle, Man United and obviously Aston Villa in this episode. So we need big results here against Newcastle and Man United to give ourselves a hope of Champions League football. It will be a little bit devastating if we can't get Champions League football again. I feel like we fought fairly well in all competitions this season, but it will ruin some of the star players that we're looking at going in for because they're going to want Champions League football. So this is the starting 11 for the Newcastle United game. We're going Kane, Son and Kulisevsky. Basically, the strongest starting 11. We played this a lot. Spence now 80. Sessegnon will start a left wing back. It's Newcastle team is pretty decent. Let's be honest with ourselves. St. Maximum could cause me a ton of issues. Alexander Izak up top could cause me a lot of problems as well. Let's see how we do. I can't see too many new names in this side apart from Lopez and that is pretty much it considering they've had a January. They're not having the best of seasons either so I don't know. Maybe that makes me feel a little bit better. Gives me a little bit more confidence and then I see this one. Allen lad four goals in the last three games. All right. That's not worrying. That's not stressful. That's not going to make me lose this game because we can outscore them. We've been on fire. That game against Southampton, we absolutely lit them up. This is a very strong start in 11. I've got full faith in the boys. Problem is, is lose this one or don't even win this one. And we are basically all but out of Champions League contention. I'm trying to work that one back over to Son. I don't think I can get the runner in there. I think it's Hoiberg. I felt like there was no way I was going to get the football to him. Harry Kane then. Can I get that back across to Son? It's going to be really difficult. Look at how much they're parking the box already. Hoiberg. Let me just smash that one out wide. Get that one out to Spence. And then I'll try and whip a decent ball in. Wanted to go towards Harry Kane. Son was never going to get that. Kulishevsky. Oh, it's a poor ball to Harry Kane. I don't know what that pass was then from Kulishevsky. Been very good for us this season. That pass, though, was not welcome. John Joe Shelby now is going to go out wide. Almiron surely will look for the overlap there to Kraft. I knew Kraft was going to try and cut that back. Sessignon, can he get it away? He can. Oh, there's a man there. Sven Botman was there. We're struggling. We're struggling at the moment to get out. We really are. Kraft now. That's good play. Almiron, well blocked by Lenley. Can we finally get some breakaway? I'm going to have to play around with the tactic here. I don't know what's going on, but in terms of our movement and bodies forward, this is not going my way. Kanga's going to have to go to set maximum that, and it works. And can he just get the ball out? He can. Kuzhevsky. Kulishevsky looking for that ball over the top to Harry Kane. He's taken it well. Harry Kane will make it 1-0 Tottenham. I'm still going to play around with this tactic. I don't like it. It's not working. I think the shape is absolutely fine. But I've been playing around a lot more with player roles recently in the instructions and getting far more success. And I don't feel like we're getting the success we should be. Great counter though. And Harry Kane, as Harry Kane has done all season, makes it 1-0 Tottenham. Lovely. We toyed around with the tactic coming into the second half. Hopefully going to yield me mad success. I need another goal just to settle the nerves. I've been so nervous to sit down and record this one just because a lot actually depends on this episode and the results we can produce. Benton Kerr has got a right pass on him. If it's timed correctly, it is. Young Min Son. Young Min Son. Good ball in to Harry Kane. He had to head it. I don't think he had a choice but head it. He wouldn't have got there if I'd went for the volley. The diving header just wide. Eddie Howe will not be happy at what he's seen from Newcastle so far. I have to hope that the results with Aston Villa and Liverpool are going our way. No work to be done here yet, though. Harry Kane finds himself on the football. We'll hold that one up nicely. And I've tried to play that to the wrong man. I think I could do with a bit more pace up there at the minute. I've only got Son. I don't know. Oh, this is bad. Lopez. Oh, well blocked, Lenley. Again, I know. I know you don't want it, guys. I feel like Lenley's been so good this season. Why would we not sign him? Obviously, there's a lot of big names you guys have been saying, so the next episode will be huge. I'm going to re-go through all the comments and just make sure I've got everyone that makes sense to have on the shortlist on the shortlist. And for you guys, get your suggestions in now because now I'm back at work. I have to record these a little bit more ahead of time. So it would be good if you could get your suggestions in now. Oh, that's lovely. That was lovely. Harry Kane hat-trick. Harry Kane hat-trick. Oh, no, it's not a hat-trick, is it? 2-0. When did I think he'd scored the second goal? 
Is there, did I just dream that? Did that just happen in a dream? But nonetheless, it's 2-0. Good football. Kulisevsky did fantastic, pulling players out of position, and Harry Kane does not miss them. But speaking of Kulisevsky, we're 70 minutes in. We've got Man United coming up. I'm going to make some changes. Edwards is going to come on. Illich is going to come on for Hoiberg. Spence will come off for Lamptey. And Richarlison up top for Harry Kane. He doesn't always need hat tricks, does he? So, let's be honest. I need him fit for Man United. That's what I need. Still, a clean sheet here would be lovely. Lopez bringing it forward. Shoots. Well blocked. I'll take those blocks. That was handball, wasn't it? Score update. What is the scoreline update, Alex? Let me know. I can't hear her, by the way. So, I thought it was actually going to flash up the score as well. Look like an idiot now, don't I? Why doesn't he flash up the score as well, man? As, as well as her talking. Because I can't hear her. This is a dangerous free kick position. It doesn't look like they've got Trippier anymore, though. And I timed the wall to be correct. But luckily, Larice is there. 2-0, the victors here, though. I, that's a good result. We needed it. Just keep winning. Just keep winning. Just keep winning. Doesn't matter how we win. We just need to keep winning. And Harry came with a goal, obviously. That's what he does. 2-0 victory against Newcastle. Need to keep him fit, though. Man United up next. That one is a huge game. Aston Villa won 2-1. So that's not good news, is it? Aston Villa winning 2-1 is bad news and the standings. But who's in fourth? How are we in fourth? We're above Chelsea now and Liverpool. Liverpool haven't played. So, two games left of the season, but still four for Liverpool. When are they actually playing their games? We're technically just end the season now. Stop the count. Good news though, Eve Basuma coming back from his injury. Liverpool have played their games and they've played two of them now. Everybody's played two of them apart from ourselves and Manchester United. Just leave us though, like two games in, in four days, which is a bit frustrating. Aston Villa now second, so we aren't going to catch them. It's so basically we can catch Liverpool. So the, the maths is making this difficult. I, basically, I need Liverpool to lose. Who do they play final? Leeds. Please, Leeds. Please, Leeds. God, please. Leeds United will do me this huge favour. I, I just need it. I just need it. We still need to beat Man United and Aston Villa. And I now need Leeds to beat Liverpool. Ninth place Leeds as well. They're having a good season. In order for me to get Champions League football. Or draw. They can draw, actually. And on... Oh, we'd have to score some goals. So this is the starting 11. And I have to bear in mind that in three days' time, I have to play against Aston Villa and be fit enough to be able to beat Aston Villa. They've smashed me twice this season, Man United. This really does feel like it could be massive revenge for me. I genuinely wholeheartedly really want to win this game. Illich has now gone up one as well, which is good to see at 79 rated. Big news, Romero is 87 rated. Huge for him. Son 90 as expected. Honestly, biggest game of the series so far at Old Trafford. Wet rainy night at Old Trafford can decide our Champions League fates. You just cannot write this. It's going right to the edge of this series. Really put me in early retirement playing these kind of games at this stage. But also I made a question of will there be a season two? Yeah, I mean I plan to do several seasons here with Tottenham. It's always the most successful save of the year. So I definitely intend to do quite a few seasons. I know some career mode YouTubers will only do like a couple of seasons with their initial save to try and get several you know, episode number one's out, which makes 100% sense. But no, we're, we're in for the long haul here with Tottenham. And I do not want to cut the seed here early on. That is great defending from Eric Dyer. Man United's press at the moment causing me issues. Lamptey doing very, very well there and keeps the football in. Can I get it down the line? I can. Edwards. Hoiberg. I don't know where I'm going to go here. I'm going to have to go backwards. And I'm just kind of hoping that player movement is going to open stuff up come Manchester United Anthony oh that's a mistake Sessignon gets to it and can't get the ball out of his feet he feels like he was fouled and I thought he was fouled as well Fred there coming forward Danilo now can I have a bit of help I can't Fred just trying to cut off that passing lane I knew he was going to go back to Casemiro Bruno Fernandes he is a problem great ball roll Ronaldo we hold it up. Len Lake does brilliantly. Now, can we finally start to break away? This Manchester United team are pressing me like mad. I'm not going to lie. Eric Dyer out to Lamptey. Lamptey now. He's got the pace. Down the wing to Edwards. It's not a good enough pass. Oh, Martinez can pick that one off. It's very tentative in these opening moments. Kane now. Waits and waits. Oh, he's going to find Jungwin Son. Son across then to Hoiberg. It wasn't ideal. Oh, that's going to be an own goal, I think. I think that's a Harry Maguire own goal, if I'm being honest. I don't think Hoiberg put that in the back of the net. Let's see this a little bit closer. Great ball from Harry Kane. Maybe he could have shot with Son, but I just saw Hoiberg. It is. It's a Harry Maguire own goal to help your boy Yorkie maybe get to the Champions League. Back to his old tricks. Hoiberg apparently is going to claim that goal. 
Not so sure. That's definitely an own goal. Without a shadow of a doubt. One's never going to be enough. And a draw isn't enough in this one. So if we could push on to get a second against Manchester United. Then they fix that one up. Romero knew he was going to give that away. I knew he was going to give that one away. Don't let him get it into Cristiano Ronaldo. Romero makes up for his mistake. Look at this press from Manchester United. Edwards is in. Edwards is in. And Edwards is going to play that one to Harry Kane. Harry Kane doesn't miss in these positions. Harry Kane, what a save from David De Gea. They are all over me at the moment. And it's proving so difficult just to get the ball out. It's all Man United possession-wise. And then we're just getting the odd breakaway. Ronaldo plays that one in behind to Bruno Fernandes. Anthony now. Don't let him get it back in behind. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, my God. It's 1-1. That was always going to happen. I could see that coming from a mile off. 1-1 just quite simply is not a good enough scoreline. We pulled too many players out of position, and we've been punished for it. Manchester United are just very different on this year's game. They're just one of the best teams in the game. Halftime whistle is blown here at Old Trafford. 1-1. Still a lot for us to do. We need another goal. Pure and simple. What can we do here? Ronaldo, that's great play. We're going to get to it with Lenley. Lenley then put in Larice under pressure, where Larice messes up and luckily saves the shot from Anthony. Again, the press that they've got, really issues. I am not enjoying this game at Old Trafford, knowing that I need a goal and they are absolutely dominating me. I like the run from Harry there as well. Richarlison's still got it. Richarlison's still got it. Bruno Fernandes. What a tackle. Free kick, dangerous position. Imagine if this is what it comes down to. Right? Just imagine if this is what it comes down to. A Harry Kane free kick. Would I rather bend it the other way? Everyone's a right footer, really. I've only got right-footed players on the pitch. Let's uh, see what we can do here. I'm going to aim it like there. And he's taken it without my permission, but can we work this out? Lucas Mora, Hoiberg. Ah, oh, what was that, Hoiberg? In the end, that is shocking. Essignon wins it back. This is the last moment. Go on then, Harry Kane. Oh, it's a poor touch from Harry Kane. Casemiro has bossed this match. Absolutely bossed it. And I, there's nothing we could do. The highlights are going to be awful. I've barely had anything. It's been all Manchester United, all Manchester United's possession. And there we go. That will, in my opinion, be us out of the Champions League. There is basically no hope now. We need a win. Uh, we need Liverpool to lose. I, I mean, it's us out, right? Let's just put it this way. We're going to probably finish fifth. Man United at Old Trafford was always going to be a tall task. But when we went a goal up, it just felt like I just hold on to it. But terrible performance. Maybe the wrong formation. I mean, Man United straight up just dominated possession. But neither side really had chances. Two shots each in the entire match. So much disappointment coming out of that one. If I'm being 100% honest, so much disappointment at that performance. Bruno Fernandes being the man to stop us. Now, we would have to hope that Liverpool lose and we'd have to score four goals in this final game against Aston Villa, who, by the way, are second in the league. It's not like they're just going to be wide open for us to score a ton of goals. I, I genuinely think it will be Europa League football for Spurs next season. So the big aim for this Villa game, right, has to be score as many goals as humanly possible in this one, just to give ourselves a chance and, and also win the game. I mean, that should be rule number one, right? Win the game. This is the starting 11. Very strong. Eve Basuma comes back in. I want that physicality from him in the midfield. Now, the only issue I've found recently is we're being overrun in the midfield, and that's making me think of change of formation for the next season because we can't afford to be overrun in midfield. We really can. Let's see if we can just put together a massive result. Now, Aston Villa, of course... They're second in the league, and they'll want to finish as high as humanly possible. But this, in reality, is a game that Tottenham Hotspur should definitely be winning. Can we grab the goals we need? Who knows? But we're going to give it a damn good go and just hope that Liverpool lose. How poetic would it be if Leeds United did me a favour and we could score four here? Because that's what we need to do. We need to actually score four. Now, I'm not against changing the formation mid-game. I will do that if we need to, because... My mind here is just on win this game of football into Son. It's actually ended up with Harry Kane. Harry Kane then tries to play that in behind. And we found ourselves in that position a lot this season where we just run out of steam. What a pass that is to Leon Bailey, who is rapid going 1-0 down here. Would destroy Champions League football. One ball over the top from Aston Villa. That is all they've done. Just one ball over the top. And we're 1-0 we're down already. Well, that's not the right way to start the game. We need five goals now. Do you think that's going to be doable? We kind of thought coming into this one that Champions League football was done and dusted. I mean, we're still just now back in the exact same position. Champions League is looking like it's not on the cards for us anymore. Young Min Son, where are the runners? Young Min Son still. 
Cross there to Ibasuma. Why are you so far outside the box, Harry Kane? I need you in the box at that situation, Harry. Well, Douglas, the way he's puts that through to Duvan Zapata and Aston Villa. Look like they're going to be rampant on the breakaway. Oh, he's given a penalty. It's 15 minutes in. This couldn't have gone worse. Why is he given a penalty? Does Romero push him that much? Duvan Zapata's got like 99 strength and he just... Oh, there is contact. Well, I've got to be honest. If we can't save this... I mean, it is game over. Hugh Golleris won't save it. Good they're going to make it 2-0 Aston Villa. They're showing us exactly why they're second in the league at the moment. And 15 minutes into this game, it's not looking good if you're a Tottenham fan. Well, 2-0 down, boys. What can we say to that? I'm going to keep it as it is, I think, for the rest of this half. Because, I mean, it was a long shot anyway. But this performance right now is definitely not feeling very good. Ben Kerr does well there, though, to get that over to Son. Son then back out wide. Can we get a good ball in? We, oh, Harry Kane's just ran way too far forward. I mean, I don't know what that is. Harry Kane's been prolific this year. And I think when we look back at the stats, there'll be several players that have had good years. But the frustrating thing here is going to be this end result. Harry Kane now will hold that one up. There's no one to pass it to. The, the off runs are not good enough. I'd like now from this one just to go on and win it, to be honest. If we can figure out a way to go on and win it and save some face, that would be lovely. We need three goals. And we've got the time to do it. We've got the time to score three goals. So that's all I want from this match now. Bailey. Oh, my God. They are destroying me, Coutinho. Get it out. Get it out, Davis. Absolutely. We've had to rotate for this one as well, which is, like, really frustrating. Simply because of the way the games have gone. We had to rotate. Harry Kane's not going to get to that, is he? That is a massive shame. Diego Carlos, someone people have suggested. And that might have to be an option now, although he's going to have Champions League football. We do try and be realistic. Leon Bailey is a nightmare, by the way. He is so quick. Uh, we don't have Champions League football. So it is going to change who we can go for because we try and play as realistically as possible. And yeah, it's massively going to change who we can go for. I really like this formation as well. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've quite enjoyed using it this year and it's not really worked out. I think what's taken a huge toll on Tottenham in this series is the Champions League football, if I'm being honest with you. I think that's taken a massive toll on the Premiership results. And it's caused us too many issues. It's not good enough from Tottenham Hotspur here at home as well. And Champions League football is done. But can we just come back? Save a little bit of grace in this one. We're going to start trying to save that grace with a, a tactical change. And see if we can work something that way. This is going to be the change. We're going with this formation. Let's see how it works out for us. I just want them to give it a real good shot in this second half. And just see where we end up. I feel like we've been overrunning midfield. And we just don't have enough options when going forward with the formation we've been playing. And I also feel like my big issue is Harry Kane not having the speed is, uh, yeah, it's causing me a, a problem or two. This is theoretically the formation you guys want me to change to as well next season. So it'll be a good test here to see how it does numbers wise. Kulisevsky is going to be in over the top instantly. Kulisevsky is going to be caught by Konza. And then he's going to put it just beyond the post. I cannot believe that. Change of formation, though, and that is the best chance we've had in this match so far. Young Min Son. Young Min Son's going to keep running with the ball. Then plays it across to Harry Kane. Harry Kane's clever. Tries to play in Edwards. He does get Edwards in. Edwards! Oh, what a save from Martinez. Already the start of his second half. A million times better from the lads. Get anything here from the corner? I, again, I think this is going to have to be the formation change. We want to be more aggressive, don't we? More proactive. We're trying to win games of football. Not be on the back foot. We've had brief moments of greatness with the formation that we've used this year. But I think I think you guys are right. I think it is going to need to be a change in formation moving forward. Oh, Romero there. Cannot be doing that. Leon Bailey. Tanganga does brilliantly. But they're across. Douglas Luiz. Well saved from Hugo Lloris. Well, they've given us the ball back. Kulisevsky has got Harry Kane. And onside Harry Kane. Probably going for the golden boot. Harry Kane makes it 2-1. There's time. Let's just say face in this one. I'm probably going to need to bring in another striker now as well. We're probably going to have to change up our transfer policy. Uh, the wing backs should be absolutely fine to be trained as wingers. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue. But then I definitely think we're going to need another striker. I think he played it too late. He did. Offside flag is up. That was much better though. Just everything we're doing in this formation now is better. Maybe a cam too. Leicester didn't make it into Europe. Madison could be an option. Well, this is a chance. Richarlison. Oh, good footwork from Richarlison actually there. He's kept it as well. You're going to play that inside to Perisic. Perisic had a massive moment recently. Inside to Harry Kane. It's saved, but it's not. It's in the back of the net. Let's do it. 3-2. Let's save face out there for you guys. You guys deserve this. The support has been unreal. I do think we've lacked the squad depth. 
for European football this season and it has hurt us in the league. That will change next year. We'll be smart in the transfer window. We'll be very shrewd. But we are going to change formation next season. There's no doubt. Harry Kane makes it 2-2. Great play there from Richarlison. And I think just in general, having Richarlison on the pitch more will not be a negative next season. He's had a great year. 2-2, the end result. It was a draw, but I think from 2-0 down, we really showed a lot of spirit to come back. We've learned lessons this season. We really have learned a lot of lessons here in season number one. It isn't going to be Champions League football. It's frustrating, but... I think we could do without that year in the Champions League to focus on the league a bit more because we focused a lot on Champions League football this season and it's hurt us. We're going to swap the formation. I felt much more comfortable in what we played there, which means we're going to have to swap around some players in that situation. We will actually end up finishing sixth ahead of Arsenal, which is good to see. And there's some teams here that finished below us that we can now pick players off from. But unfortunately, it has screwed us over with a couple of transfers. We still need to add players to this shortlist, but there are certain transfers here that... If they're playing in the Champions League, I have to be honest with you, they're most likely not going to sign for us. We're going to go with wingers now, though. We're going to go with that formation. We're going to go with wingers. So it'll be interesting to see who we can go for. But there's some good options still here. There's some very good options still here. Bastoni was the man I wanted, but I just don't think we can warrant that now. With us changing to this formation in the future, although we played a different variation of this, we, and we will set that up. I'll set that up for next season. Does mean we're going to need some different players. We're probably going to need another striker, and Scarlett would see more game time as well. Though Lucas Mora can play in that position. So it's not end of the world, and the board actually don't hate me. Let's go through the stats for the season, though, at the end of this one. Austin went up by two out on loan, which is good. Whiteman up by two. Foster, he's going to go. We need a new goalkeeper. I think Hugo Lloris has gone down too, so we need one who's going to come in to replace Hugo Lloris. I still think we've got one good season. Out of Hugo Lloris. So, who knows who we're going to go for. Destiny coming back next season as well. He'll be trying to play left mid. Regulon will probably be sold, if I'm honest, to gain money. And, and we'll sell him to, I don't know, whoever the biggest suitor is. Ryan Sesson Young improved. I'm going to go through now and, and do the development plans. We're going to change the left wing backs now to left mids and the right wing backs to uh, right mids. And they should all be comfortable playing there, to be honest. So they fit the formation. Odin will come back. We'll figure out what to do with him. Maybe he could be a, a rotational player, a little bit of squad depth. And I don't know. I think maybe he goes. Sanchez has already been sold. Taganga up by eight, which was insane. But it's mainly because of the position change. Uh, to set about Lenley. I think now we pull the trigger on him. I don't know how much he'll cost, but I think now we should actually sign him because Barcelona don't want him. He's got experience here at the club, and he's probably not going to be as stressed out about not having Champions League football. But Davis is leaving. Eric Dyer went up one. Romero went up by four. Unbelievable season for him. Spence up by five. Great to see. And Lamptey up by three as well. Oliver Skip going up by three. Finally, his passing starting to work. Three assists. Basuma up by three as well. Great season for him. Really enjoyed using him. Hoiberg as well surprised me. I wasn't too keen on him at the start of the year as the save went on and the season went on. Really enjoyed using him. Perisic went down by three, which is a little bit frustrating. Brian Kiel went up by three on loan. So we'll have to see what happens when he comes back. Bent and Kerr there up by three. Fantastic season for him. Illich only going up by one, but he should see more football next season. Harry Winks will come back. Let me know what you think we should do about Harry Winks and Giovanni Lo Celso. I personally think maybe we sell all three of these it's up to you guys though if you think they can fit in our system we will give them an opportunity but i personally think we probably just sell all three star up by three out on loan divine up by five out on loan so that's really good news for him son up by one to 90 now at the age of 30 though we need to start thinking about that a little bit as the future moves on ibrahim up by ibrahim up by 18 i mean yeah it is what it is son 23 goals and 14 assists this season though a unbelievable season for him lucas mora having eight goals and four assists as well rayleigh chipped in as a squad player kulisevsky up by three 10 goals 13 assists good year for him edwards needs to improve but he will do over time he, he improved as the season went on need to see more goal output and assists from him what a season for richarlison if we're being honest i genuinely didn't think i was going to enjoy using him or he'd be any good for us in this 22 goals and six assists standout Rayleigh, you could potentially say performer because we just did not expect it from him now only the two goals not really good enough and then harry kane with 28 goals and eight assists the real big stat in this one is he only played 31 games and got those 28 goals. That is ridiculous from Harry Kane. Potent as ever in front of goal this season. Now, the Premier League top goal scorer, though, is going to go to Salah. Where was Harry Kane on this? Oh, wow. He was 7 for 22. I mean, Mohamed Salah there. We look at Jimenez at Wolves, once linked with Tottenham. Maybe he could be a good shout. 25 goals in the Premier League this season. An assist was a Bamiyang. Son's up there, but a Bamiyang with assists. 
I mean, it's joint, right? Aubameyang, Son, Kulisevsky, and Jesus all on 10 assists. Now, that's going to be it for this season. I'm going to move forward, though, because we all want to see, obviously, what the budget is going to be for us to play with next year. This is a good addition. So, we've got a new end of season screen. So, it'll tell us here we finished sixth in the Premier League, the sixth round in the FA Cup, the fourth round in the Carabao. This is a good addition. Like, a football manager has something like this. It would be nice to see who you was knocked out by as well if they added that. Um, would be really nice. But this still is quite decent and the board still don't hate me. So that's very good news. Let's push our way now into the new season and our second season as Tottenham Hotspur manager. Let me know. Be as mean as you want in the comments. I think that wasn't the worst season. I think we needed to focus a bit more in the league. I think Champions League football hurt us because we don't have the squad depth. A couple of injuries maybe hindered us a tiny bit, but we don't have the squad depth. I don't think we did well enough against the top six or seven sides in the league either but just a crazy season from aston villa i think the points total we got would normally put us very close but this season we're going to focus on the league more this could be a massive year for us and i yeah let's be honest i genuinely think we could win the europa league that's how good we are i like the controversy in these saves you know i'm not gonna lie i really enjoy that it's different if you guys just saw me win all the time and there was no difference that we had to make in squad building this would be boring but i genuinely do like the fact that we've had a little bit of a 50 50 season there and now going into this year we're gonna have to improve in order to get champions league football finances show 183 million is the current budget that is insane that is absolutely insane of course we saved a lot of money because i've sold players so we we did save a lot of money i didn't spend all of last year's budget either but that is uh that is a big budget there for us to spend on players and we're gonna have to do a lot of business because this Tottenham side will not find themselves in the same position as we have this season I can promise you that that's gonna be it for this episode and that's gonna be it for this season I'm gonna say this one last time because you guys really do blow me away every time thank you very much for the support on this series I appreciate the feedback the comments I try and get to all of them it is difficult but I always try and get back to as many as you as possible even if it's just liking and hearting uh, the comment that you put up to let you guys know that I've read that I've taken in that information from you thank you for the support I appreciate you all again if you're new around here make sure to smash the subscribe button and the like button I'll see you for season number two here with Tottenham Hotspur